Hey friends, it's Dana here. Today I'm reading you a story about Miss Maple and her seeds. And I particularly love this story because I also happen to really love taking care of seeds. In fact, I have this little box that I keep all of my seeds in. And some of them are in their original little pods and some of them come in these packets. And some of them I keep in these bags because I, I harvested them myself and I keep them in these little bags. So every year I get my seeds at the end of the, the season and I keep them in this little box and then I plant them in the spring. So it's super fun and it's just like Little Miss Maple here that you'll get to learn all about through this book. So Miss Maple Seeds, um, it's by Eliza Wheeler. Here we go. On a bright August morning, Miss Maple flies home. She has hurried ahead of the flock to get ready for her guests. Miss Maple has traveled all summer long, searching the land for orphan seeds that got lost during the spring planting. She hopes to help them grow strong here in her tall maple tree and get ready for the next year's planting. She learns each seed by heart, all similar yet none the same. Take care, my little ones, Miss Maple says, for the world is big and you are small. Miss Maple takes them on field trips to learn about being a seed. Some will be carried by the river and land in soft, muddy soils. Friends of the river will help them bloom in safe places. They tour grassy fields and thick forests. Many seeds will be blown here where rich soil will keep their pods healthy and the sun and rain will help them grow tall. In bustling gardens, seeds must take care to stay clear of weedy characters. Snuggled in each night, Miss Maple reads flower tales by firefly light. Before going to bed, she whispers, take care my little ones for the world is big and you are small. Winter comes with the snow, a time to stay cozy and dry. Neighborhood friends gather to share their supplies of hot maple syrup, old corn husks, and juicy fruit rinds. Together they pass the long months with stories and songs. When spring comes, thunderstorms pour curtains of rain. Don't be afraid, raindrops help us grow, Miss Maple says to the seeds. They learn to dance and burrow down into the muddy ground. On a windy May morning, the last spring petals drift down from the sky. The time has come for Miss Maple to send her seeds off to find roots of their own. They set out on an exciting new journey into the wide unknown. Some seeds will take root in nearby gardens, while others will travel on distant winds and faraway tides. Miss Maple has given them guidance and love, and now her part in the story has come to an end. They say their goodbyes with their sweet memories past and bright futures ahead. As Miss Maple gazes out across the land below, she whispers, take care, my little ones, for the world is big and you are small, but never forget. Even the grandest of trees once had to grow up from the smallest of seeds. Into the evening, she sips her green tea in the quiet hollow of the old maple tree. But the end of each season is a start to the next. One summer morning, Miss Maple grabs her willow weed hat, whistles a merry tune, 
and sets off to follow the faraway call of the other lost seeds waiting to be found. The end. All right, friends, I hope you loved reading about Miss Maple Seeds as much as I did. And if you get a chance to get this book, it has such beautiful illustrations and just little um, scenes of seeds being taken care of by Miss Maple. So have a great day. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye.